Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity. As part of uh, publishing content to IT Varsity uh, using YouTube as platform, uh, in this video I will try to showcase how we can actually uh, build the pre uh, PowerPoint presentations on Windows laptop. So we will be using Microsoft Office PowerPoint only, whether it is Mac or uh, uh, Windows. So there are some subtle differences which are which can cause a lot of confusion between um, Windows and uh, uh, Mac and I will try to cover those subtle differences as a add-on to the existing video. So if you have, if you are watching, if you want to pre prepare presentations using Windows then you have to watch this video, building PowerPoint presentations for Mac and then you have to watch this add-on video which is being recorded currently so that you understand how uh, PPTs can be made using Windows. If you are using just Mac, uh, you, you can skip this video safely and uh, directly uh, just uh, move on to the next one uh, to record videos on Mac using Movavi. Or if you are using, uh, uh, so let's go ahead and start with a new presentation on Windows and see um, what are the, uh, what are those subtle differences when it comes to animations primarily, okay. So to start the uh, PowerPoint, you can uh, go to the top right corner if you are using uh, Windows 8, uh, type, uh, click on search button and then you can search for PowerPoint and you can open PowerPoint 2013. Open blank presentation and uh, you can save as before you start typing the content. Let me save it to my uh, uh, same location where I have saved the presentation for Mac. So on, by clicking on browse, okay, you should not, I should not click on browse actually. Yeah, that's right. By clicking on browse, I want to save it to Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. And in this, I want to go to training. and in that content publishing and in this I want to save it as demo on Windows. Save it. Yes. And this, uh, this is the starting point of our presentation. As I have shown in a Mac, pre uh, Mac video, you can give the title uh, and move on to other slides and uh, try to use shapes. So it is same uh, shapes if you want, you can delete uh, this text, uh, text box. and then uh, you can click on uh, the shapes here so shapes are directly shown like this on windows whereas on mac it is shown a little bit differently and also there is a difference in uh, office version uh, that i have used on mac and what i'm using on windows so either it will show like this or it will show as um, a as in i have shown in mac okay so now you can choose the uh, whatever shape you want once you choose the shape, you can uh, do the filling by uh, using this one or you can actually use this one and uh, uh, change the color of the border or outline like that. And also once you type the text, if you want to change the font, you can just go ahead and change the font here. So in this case, it will become red. And if you want to increase or decrease the size of your font, uh, you can uh, choose this one and uh, uh, yeah, click on these things. Uh, here it, it also shows the short, uh, shortcuts. Instead of using mouse, you can actually use control shift and uh, uh, less than symbol to decrease the size relatively of all the text on your, um, uh, that is selected. Or you can use control shift and greater than symbol to increase the size. I think these shortcuts are not available in Mac. Okay, and uh, then let's create another um, rectangle here. Okay, and let's connect with connect connector so that I can demonstrate uh, the animation portion of it. Now let me select uh, all the three, click on animations and uh, choose whatever uh, type of animation you want to do. In this case, I am using float in. 
and then once you uh, uh, once you choose the animation you can uh, you can uh, uh, do on click and everything will be changed automatically this option is not available in mac okay in this we just selected everything and go to this pane and uh, just change the on click and uh, now you can see the order uh, uh, the rectangle one will be uh, will be one and rectangle two is two and uh, the arrow is three and you can actually do the preview by clicking on this star icon on the left side of the slide and it is working as expected but sometimes in the complex uh, uh, slides where you have too many symbols if you want to customize the order in more uh, interactive fashion then you have to uh, uh, choose this animation pane and you will get all those uh, uh, here and uh, then you can change the order so click anywhere outside these things so that everything got deselected and then you can change the order uh, by moving these things around like this uh, and also if you want to change uh, uh, the effect you have to click on this and uh, either you can do start with previous and now if you try to preview arrow and the rectangle came first because we moved the arrow on to top and we changed the behavior to come uh, to bring it up with the previous one uh, rather than on click if you want to change it to on click now you can change it and uh, that's how you can actually use your windows laptop uh, for preparing the presentation with animations coming to indentation and all it's the same whether you are using uh, mac or uh, uh, mac or windows click on home and now you can actually start typing overview and uh, then uh, if you want to change the bullet on windows on mac it changes automatically to a different type of icon but on windows for some reason it does not change you can choose whatever uh, bullet uh, you uh, format you want and then you can start typing and the same bullet will occur and if you want to um, create uh, uh, a branch uh, a section which is at the same level as overview then you can just uh, move the uh, decrease the indentation um, but the symbol does not change when it comes to windows so go back and change whatever you are trying to use uh, as part of the uh, earlier overview section now you can actually type overview too so these are the subtle differences compared to uh, the one which i have explained as part of the earlier video when it comes to mac as long as you understand these things rest of the stuff is same you should be able to try to um, prepare complex presentations using these things uh, so that uh, uh, there is a flow within your presentation if there is a, uh, if there is a lack uh, if, if if your presentation lacks that flow then uh, even though you are very good at communication skills uh, still uh, uh, the presentation can cause confusion and you have to be extremely careful sometimes having very good presentation can uh, overcome the inability to communicate well uh, using a, a particular language like english that being said let me show you a small demonstration of uh, some of the uh, animations i have created so this is one such animation which i have created okay and you can click on this for the preview this is to explain the oracle architecture and if you uh, cl uh, click on the slide show uh, which is on the top uh, bottom right corner and you can see this is how it will look like you need to explain it so that people understand what it is but you can prepare uh, complex presentations like this using the grouping feature and all those things which i have uh, explained as part of the video that is uh, 
uh, that is created uh, uh, to create presentations for Mac. Okay, and on top of that, you can use this add-on video and uh, seamlessly work on your presentations using Windows as well. That being said, uh, that is it for now. I hope you enjoy the content of this cha uh, channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you have any technical questions or uh, want to provide feedback, please use the comment section of the video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you.